Hey all of you, hope you guys are great and welcome back to this full stack NFT marketplace project video. So in the first part, we had built our powerful smart contract for our NFT marketplace. In the second part, we have built stunning front end applications and we have connected the front end part with the smart contract and we are doing all the transactions of the NFT. So if you haven't watched those two part, I'll link in the i button on the description so you guys can follow that. And this is the third part from right this video, we're going to build the powerful API for our NFT. NFT marketplace. So I hope you guys are excited and I'm also very excited because you can see my tone. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview that how we are going to navigate throughout this entire third part, how we're going to plan our API, what are the structure we're going to build, what kind of functionality we're going to include into our API. Okay. So that's all we're going to talk about in this video. So let me change my slide and let me have this boom. Okay, I like to have this one. So we're going to build API. So first we'll start with the architecture, then we'll move to the API modeling, then we're going to move to the MongoDB. And after that, we're going to connect that MongoDB, <laughs> MongoDB with our cloud storage. After that, we're going to work on the API error handling, then we're going to move on to the API security. After that, we're going to work on the authentications, then we're going to work on the user authentication. So we have to create a function which can allow user to log into the application, we have to do certain changes as per the user, they are logged into the application or not. Okay, so those are all the authentication we're going to create in this two part, and then we'll move to the data modeling. Okay, so this API is going to be a global API. What do I mean by global API? I will explain. Okay, just wait. And after that, we're going to work on the payment system. So this one is optional, but I will include this functionality. Because if you want to take payment in dollar, you can do that. Okay, so we're going to discuss about that, but we're going to build this functionality into our API. After that, we're going to build this email subscription form. Okay, so whenever someone buy any NFT or trade any NFT or the price of NFT goes up and down. So we have to send emails to the creator as well as the other who are interested or those who are bidding for that NFT. Okay, so we'll create this email sending functionality, then we'll talk about the automation, we're going to build the automation, like notifications, all those things. Okay. And finally, our NFT marketplace API is ready. Okay, now let's move to the next slide. So global API, what do I mean by global API exactly here? Okay, so the API we are about to build is going to be a global one. Okay, so you can use this API in any type of applications, because this is the approach I'm going to take for building this API. Once we build this entire API, then we're going to convert this API into our NFT marketplace. Okay, so once you have this API, you can use into any kind of applications. First thing that we're going to use this API into our NFT marketplace, you can use it for YouTube. Okay, so if you want to create a YouTube online streaming platform. So you can use the same API, I will show you that how you can do all the changes in the API to have the same functionality, the functionality you can see right in the API uh, YouTube. Okay, then we'll move to the e commerce, you can easily convert the same API into e commerce, you can convert the API into an online learning platforms like Udemy. If you want to convert the API into a portfolio, you can do that. If you want to convert the API into a finance or financial institution, you can do that. Okay, so this is the API is going to be global. That's why I call global API. And after that, so once we'll have the API, you can easily convert into any type of application which you want to build. Okay, so trust me, once you build this API, you will learn everything about the APIs and you can build any applications, you can be a pro backend developer, and you will have a confidence that you can build any kind of applications, I will show you how you can convert that particular API into multiple stream as applications. Okay, now let's move to the next slice. So now the biggest question is that how are you guys going to ask me questions? I totally assume that you guys are going to make any kind of mistakes, some function will work, some function will not work, because I commit a lot of mistakes. Okay, so I'm telling you this on my personal experience, I have also taken a lot of courses. So if you follow this, you're definitely going to commit some mistakes, some problem you will have with the packages. So how are you guys going to ask me questions? Okay, so here you have three options to ask the question, but I would prefer you to join the discord server which I have built. Okay, that we have already have a couple of members in that discord server. So if you want to ask your query, the first thing you have to do whatever problem you are facing, just take a snapshot of that and post in the discord server. 
write down the problem which you are having so if i come across the problem i can easily able to answer you or if anybody else in the in the discord server have the same problem they can answer you as well okay so we want to build a community they have to help each other so the, i would recommend you to join this discord server and ask your question there and in the youtube section what you have to do whenever you have any problem just write down the timestamp and the problem in the comment section okay and that way we can easily able to highlight the section and i can i would help you in much better way and the third instagram is optional i'm not that active but i always share a very beautiful and good memes in instagram so if you want to follow me there you can do that as well okay so this is the playlist so you have to save all the video will go into this playlist okay so we have the already smart contract we have front end template we have all built all those things that's all in this playlist and i'm going to add this api section in that as well okay and this is my website if you want to know any update about this api development you can simply visit to the blog section there i have provided all the templates all the all the source code starter files that's all you will find in the block section so visit there and check from your end so once everything's ready we're going to connect our smart contract with front end and api and at the end you will get your startup you can see a water dropping from top and here is the wave that means your startup is taking forward in full force okay so i'm very excited about this i hope you guys will learn something new the ultimate motive is for me to help you guys so before i start i really want to thank jonathan because whatever i know about this backend development that's all because of jonathan he taught amazingly in one of his paid course i took his course and i'm going to follow the same structure that he taught me in that course because i found that that is the best way to learn the structure you follow i'm going to follow the same structure and i'm going to do some add-ons on that okay so finally i want to congratulate you that you guys have been amazing the way you guys have following this project and the way you guys have shown your love asking questions i really like those things okay so i hope you will learn something new in this section as well okay so with that said let me take you to my code editor and show you the folder and file structure which i have created so all i have done so far in this api development i have created a folder by the name nft api and inside this folder i have this data folder okay so let me show you what i have in this so let's come here click on this in this folder we have two folders one is for the data and the other folder we have for the image okay and all this starter file will be provided to you guys okay so if you click on this data folder in that you will find that we have couple of json file so first one is we have this nft review we have nft sample nft user and nft okay if i click on this nft review so here i have created a couple of reviews for our nft you can see we have the id we have review we have rating we have user we have nft okay so you might be thinking that what is this rating okay don't need to worry about this when we're going to design our data modeling and that we're going to talk about this a lot okay so this is the demo review which i have created id review rating and all together i have created close to 60 okay so you can have a look this one okay you can see we have all these demo reviews now the second file we have this nft sample so we will start with this sample data okay so this is the sample data on which we're going to do the testing of our api because the actual api the actual data of the nft will contain a lot of information okay we have to put a lot of information in that so i'll keep that aside we have to focus on building the api all the functionality and then after that once we have that functionality we can easily able to ask for any data from the user okay so this is the sample data we have we have the id we have name we have durations and we have max group size and you might be thinking that what is this max group size what is this difficulty we don't have anything anything in our nfts but what is this so as i told you that we're going to follow the global approach okay so we are building this api as a global so we can use into different application okay so that's why i have taken this fill because in if you want to build you if you want to use the same api for building a social media app so we need to have a functionality which calculate the average like like how many likes are getting the difficulties okay if you want to build uh, any kind of course application like udemy there you have to save the difficulty levels okay the rating the likes okay so that's the approach i'm taking i'm taking as a global and that's the, the data we have taken here that is absolutely perfect for building a global api everything will make sense okay everything will make sense just follow along with me okay so here we have all this data we have rating we have the grading so all this is the first data and this is the second data so all together we have nine 
nine data I have created nine NFT data you can call it so you can see we have this I so nine data we have okay let's come back to the NFT user so this is the user data I have created so I already created a couple of users which we going to use it when we allow when we work on the authentication authentication user authentication security so we need a data so we can easily able to test our api so you can see every user will have a unique id and this id will replace to the account address okay the api address and the name then email id role active and this active will dedicate that whether the user have deleted their account from the api or not okay so everything will make sense and you can see the password we have a long hash we're going to use a beautiful package which going to encrypt the password so you should never save your password like this we're going to always encrypt all the data which will take those data from the user because user data is a stake and you have to take the responsibility for that so we have to work on the security part as well so you can see that so we have all this data for the user id we have the name email address roles active and this is the one so i have created close to 20 users now let's come back to the nft so this is going to be the large data okay again i'm telling you that this is not the actual data for the nft it's a global approach and in this we i try to cover almost everything and actually i'm using the same data which i was given in the paid course because i think this is the best so we have the start location so if someone wants to create an nft or any product in different locations so if you want to show a location like a map in your application so you can take the coordinates and you can display that this user locate here he created this nft this place okay so we have that we have rating we have quantity we have the images we have the start time so you have seen that we have to provide some sort of offer okay so we have to show that the 10 minutes left by this nft so this kind of like offerings we have to have a date so we have the some dates here we have the id descriptions and here we have a hell lot of things okay i will i will give you this data so you guys can have a look and when we start actually working with this data you will find that how is how sense it make and the image folder we have inside this image folder we have this couple of images and inside that image folder we have another folder called user so so let's click on this user and here you will find all the images which we are going to use for the user okay we're going to take a lot of images for the nft as well so right now i don't have actually i have so i forgot to add it but don't need to worry about this right moment because we're not going to use this folder right now okay so that's the folder and file structure which we have for this so i hope that you guys have got the proper picture that how we're going to navigate throughout this entire api development we'll focus on global approach okay so once we'll have the api in our hand after that we can easily convert it into any applications and we're going to convert the api into our nft marketplace at the end and we're going to connect it and we're going to have the nft place is ready okay so hope everything's clear before we get started and again i'm telling you the starter file is provided to all of you into this article so visit to my website go to the blog section and there you will have the starter file downloaded from there and then we can start continue okay so right now in the next video we're going to install a couple of important tools important software which is very important without that we can't able to build the api so we're going to install that and after that we can start working on building the api so hope you have liked this video if you really like it do hit like and subscribe that will motivate me a lot and do leave your query in the comment section so i know that you guys are really excited about it or not okay so make sure you join the discord server for asking all the queries and that's the end. that's the thing i want to cover in this video so with that said i'm ending this video hope you have enjoyed and have a wonderful day see you in the next video